The Life of St. Jane Francis de Chantal St. Jane Francis de Chantal's life is a testament to unwavering faith, resilience, and boundless charity. Born into a noble family in Dijon, France, Jane faced the loss of her mother at just 18 months old. Raised by her father, the head of parliament, she grew into a woman of grace, beauty, and a joyful spirit. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, and God bless you. Despite these personal losses, Jane's faith remained steadfast. She reinstated the practice of daily mass at her castle and dedicated herself to charitable works, embodying the spirit of Proverbs 19.17. Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will reward them for what they have done. Tragedy struck again when her husband was killed in a hunting accident. Jane, now a widow, faced immense grief and the challenge of living with her difficult father-in-law. Yet, she remained cheerful and resilient, trusting in God's plan for her life. At 32, Jane met St. Francis de Sales, who became her spiritual guide. Under his direction, she took a vow to remain unmarried and devoted herself to God's service. Inspired by Francis's vision, Jane Coe founded the Visitation Order, a community for women who could not join other religious orders due to health or age. This community was built on the virtues of humility and meekness. Jane's life was marked by great personal suffering, including the deaths of her son and close family members, and the ravages of a plague. Despite these trials, she continued to serve others, opening her convent's doors to the sick and encouraging local authorities to aid plague victims. Even in her darkest moments of spiritual dryness and interior anguish, Jane's faith never wavered. She died while visiting convents of her community, leaving behind a legacy of love, service, and unwavering faith in God's providence. Some of her quotes, no matter which way God leads you, you change everything into bitterness by constantly brooding over everything. For the love of God, replace all this self-scrutiny with a pure and simple glance at God's goodness. Follow your own way of speaking to our Lord sincerely, lovingly, confidently, and simply as your heart dictates. In prayer, one must hold fast and never let go because the one who gives up loses all. If it seems that no one is listening to you, then cry out even louder. If you are driven out of one door, go back in by the other. There is no danger if our prayer is without words or reflection, because the good success of prayer depends neither on words nor on study. It depends upon the simple raising of our minds to God. Finally, St. Jane Francis de Chantal's story reminds us that through faith, humility, and charity, we can overcome life's greatest challenges and serve as beacons of God's love in the world. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and God bless you.